This is the Revit API Beginner's Guide to adding a button. The very first thing I want to do is I'm going to generate a method to create a, a new tab and a panel uh, to go into that tab. Um, and I want to put an argument of, of the application uh, A, we call it A, uh, of, of my application that I've generated and I want to generate a panel, a ribbon panel um, and for right now there's nothing in my ribbon panel because I want to try to generate it and the first thing I want to do is I want to generate a tab um, so this here is a simple mistake I made I actually need to add a tab the dot create ribbon tab instead of dot create panel. I will fix that in a second, but for the sake of making this video, I'm in a hurry. So um, if it doesn't function, I will catch my error, um, and then I will try to generate something new. Uh, which what I want is I want a panel, a ribbon panel, and I will personally call this ribbon panel uh, panel. How about that? simple enough um, and this time I do want to generate the ribbon panel uh, and I want my test uh, my test panel which would be my tab to generate um, my test which is my panel um, and then if it doesn't generate it I want to catch it and the next thing I want to do is I want to look for everything that's in that tab um, and see what panels exist in order to find out if I can put my panel or my button into that panel or buttons um, so I want to list the list of all the panels in the tab my panel or my tests, my panel tests, um, and then for each one of the uh, ribbon panels or ribbon IP quickly uh, for ease in, in, in my panels, uh, for each one of them that's in that tab, um, I want to see if the one that I want to put my new button in exists. Does the does my panel's name uh, test? Does it does it exist? If it exists, give it back to me. I want I want to know if it exists. Um, and then if it does exist, I want that panel to go back into my ribbon panel, and I want to return it to myself and say it exists. I don't need to generate it. I don't need to create. I don't need to create a new tab, and I don't need to create a new panel. If it doesn't exist, I need to create a new panel. I need to create a new tab, and then it gives it back to me. So now that we're wrapping up our our method for our ribbon and our tab, we can minimize it and start moving on to our startup. What Revit does when it fires up and starts up and we see Revit 2000 and whatever. We want to generate a panel and a tab so we say go look at our fancy dancy new tab and panel generator. Uh, we want to look at the assembly which is a reflection and it's a little bit complicated but uh, it's basically just looking at the computer and telling it hey look at this location where this application is at. Um, and the next thing that we should probably look at is what we're using. Uh, all this stuff, we're not using that. Um, I just copied and pasted a bunch of already stuff that I need to use. And I, I'll explain you know, what we're using in a little bit. But for now, um, I'm looking into the computer's assembly using the Windows reflection. The next thing I want to do is generate a button. So I say I want to generate a button 
uh, you, in, in my panel and I want to add it using this brand new panel I generated uh, and my new button is named button and the button is test button and then it's using the reflection so no matter what computer it's on it'll kind of reflect or look into the, the reflection is kind of it, it's misleading and it sounds like it's a mirror but it's not really a mirror it's just kind of looking into the computer that it's on and then saying oh what are you doing are you Mac are you Windows are you an iPad and then it and then it kind of looks into the system and then it says hey where's the location of this of this button in your system add-ins dash whatever I found it there you are so it it's better than hard coding C backslash whatever you're kind of just giving it an ominous place to kind of oh, look in this place so the next thing I need to to put together which I really like is putting a tool tip you can kind of tell your your user what what they were what they're doing with the button this is another the next part is using the URI for uh, finding an image that I want to place on my button um, again I'm going to use reflection because you will have hundreds of different types of computers you'll send your application to thousands of people and at that point you know they could be using all sorts of types of computers in all sorts of different countries so you kind of want to reflect the type of system that they're using onto your application which is the name of reflection not really that you're looking at a mirror you're you're kind of looking into their 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 hard drives their system and then you're looking for this particular file in in their in their in their computer and you will have copied that file through your DLL onto their Revit add-in you know roaming Revit add-in 2017 and then you will apply it into an image um, the, the URI image um, and then you will put it onto a bitmap and my sense of my bitmap is not um, using the right references um, but we'll go ahead and just keep pushing forward we'll take care of that in a minute this image which I want to reflect or look up is going to be added into my debug it needs to be added into the release to be copied into your add-in um, directory for your Revit project uh, in order for it to find it. The other thing is something that I've always been doing and um, I think I usually add it onto my code which is for something for idling uh, and for um, the application closing and an exemption in case your application doesn't completely go all the way through um, so if I try to debug it, it looks like it crashed on me which is always nice when you're trying to put something together so it looks like I'm not finding all the references I need um, I'm also uh, it looks like it got a red squiggly under my uh, bitmap uh, or bit image uh, here, here's one thing uh, sometimes when you rewrite something three or four times I tend to make a mistake in either leaving an S I say test or tests or you know so best thing to do is to write one string and replace all three of them that way you can ensure that your your application didn't miss one letter so this might be my problem here the other thing is I'm missing um, references to my application. The references are um, the presentation core, 
the system XAML um, and the the Windows base to run all the stuff and you and you do need all this stuff in order to run it because you're you're referencing this stuff in order to use it the other part was I've already pre-deleted my uh, command which is my when you go into the Revit project you'll see in the um, Revit add-ins a little drop down so I went ahead and deleted it because right now it's looking for both of them so I don't need the the add-in drop down anymore I'm building a genuine application but I also don't want it to collide against anything else that I've generated in my window or in my Revit project so I want to add a new GUID for it here I'll just generate a new GUID drop it in I've already done it so I don't have to replace it but it, you know I'm just showing you that you don't want to collide against something that you've already pre-made uh, you know these things I'm sure if you're an experienced software developer and you're watching this video you're thinking why the hell is this guy saying that but for me who I learned from scratch you know went to school tried to figure this out and started noticing all these you know this error that I just recently got why what you know freak out mode and you think like all right these thousands of lines and now I'm back to square one got to go back all right yeah I did all my 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 everything but you know what happened forgot to put that uh, took out that one because my my file that I was looking up is 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 lacma doors not lacma doors dot one the you know so very simple things that that you can forget and it's very it's case sensitive All right it, Revit's you know, launching everything has to be spelled out correctly for our brand new panel there's our tab uh, panel button image and our tool tip alright that's it thanks for watching